from Fenway Park here in Boston. Today, game three of this four-game series between the Seattle Mariners and the Boston Red Sox. It's baseball. It's the show, and it comes your way next. Eduardo Rodriguez gets the ball in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Eddie Rodriguez, quality left-hander, good changeup, good cutter action. Big, strong guy. He's not going to be overpowering low 90s fastball, but he's a winning pitcher. He's pitching a tough ballpark to be successful in at Fenway in Boston. If he's throwing strikes, you'll know early. He's a guy that pitches the contact. He should keep his pitch count down in this one. The batter will be Taylor Trammell. He will lead this one off today. First pitch of the A.B. now. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Well, these Red Sox entering play here this afternoon. They've had it go in the last 10 games. They're seven and three over that stretch, including a win last time out. Yeah, Maddie, we had eyeballs on yesterday's game. They were able to win that one. They're playing really focused right now. And if they execute like yesterday, I don't see any reason why they don't win today's game. Not much you can do with that one. Tied him up in knots. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. If you've got a good fastball going and they're not handling, keep throwing it. Exactly. Right there, three he fastballs in a row. He gone. Murphy. And that'll bring in Tom Murphy. As with one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. He appeared as a pinch hitter in yesterday's contest. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. 64 degrees, our temperature here at first pitch this afternoon. The 1-1. One -one. Waves and misses for strike number two. Bases are empty, one man out. And he reaches out for one and may have chased it as this is skied into the air to straightaway center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. That is third. And here's a, a look at the starting hitter. lineup for the visiting Kyle. Seattle Mariners. Dero, daytime road game for him. What you got? Focusing on this lineup, Matt, one thing jumps out at me. They are going to have to be good at situational hitting. The guy on the opposition right now on the bump has been throwing the ball great. He's not going to give him anything. I know in today's game everybody's trying to go deep, but I'm telling you, ball. a good hit and run, taking that extra Whoa. bag today might be the difference between winning and losing. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Who pulled the string and had him way out in front, a ball and a strike. Ball and two strikes now. Pitcher's got options here. He looked a little bit out front. Might be able to rush a fastball by him. Here comes the one two. Two two. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. Go on to first gets him and the side is retired. Mariners are down in order. And now the Red Sox get their turn. No score. Marco Gonzalez will do the pitching in game three of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Boy, here's an interesting pitcher. He actually pitches better on the road than he has at home this season, which is not an easy thing to do. Sometimes guys just like being on the road, being in a different hotel, uh, warming up and going out onto a different mound. Whatever the case, this guy definitely loves pitching on the road. Now with the plate is Xander Bogarts. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Pitch on the way. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Go. 
and he misses there one and two. Play 12 one ball two strikes. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. One of the toughest pitches to hit the straight changeup right El Cambio hadn't seen second. it in that entire at bat. No what happens gets the string pulled on him right there Third had no chance down. to put that ball in play. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for bowl one. Fellas the Mariners entering play here this afternoon. They come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. Yeah Matty they lost their last game. It was only by one run. They should be able those are the tough ones but they should be able to put this one behind them. Lifted down the line in left but this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Ready with two balls and a strike. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Long takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. Batting third. With that, here's how the hometown Red Sox line up in this one. Mark, daytime baseball at home. What do we need to know about these guys? Well, Matty, you walk into this yard today and it's nothing but a hitter's park. But that can work against you at times. You have to stay within yourself. You can't just be turning and burning on everything. Stay within the game plan and know that a mistake doubles leaving this yard. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He'll enter play here with that average down in the low 200s. Five homers, 13 RBIs. Oh, got him a swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. You go down 0-2 to a guy with this pitch arsenal. You just got to find a way to shorten up and battle. Put something in play. Nothing in two count and the pitch drilled down the line. But a foul ball and the count holds it 0 2. Bases are empty here with two men out. Down the left field line and deep and it's a foul ball. Into center field line drive base hit. So a nice job there to fight off an 0 2 pitch and keep the inning alive for at least one more batter. Nice A.B. right there. A little potential for some two out lightning getting a cleanup hitter to the dish after the first two batters of the inning were retired. Now is Rafael Devers as he'll take a look at ball one. The average has been good. 306 to start the day. Three homers and eight runs batted in. The 1 0. And this one's in the dirt. And the runner will stay put, but the count moves to 2 0. And 
this one's over at the knees, two and one. That's a great sinker right there. These batters are going to have to bear down because if he's got that good pitch working, it's going to be a long game. They might have to sit off speed. The count now at two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. This is on the ground over the first. Throw on the second for the force and the side is retired. We've played an inning. No score here on the show. Digging in will be Sam Haggerty. He'll start Big things out in the top half of the second. The shortstop, Sam Haggerty. Now here's the first offering. Ball. One oh. And the pitch. Three. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Love that pitch. As long as you actually get it inside, like he did right there, the cutter inside is a very effective pitch. Now another one two. Ball. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Into right center, and they'll get a man aboard to start the inning. That's a base hit. Sometimes you get lucky in this game. I don't think pitch recognition-wise, he would choose to swing at that exact pitch. Well, you know what? Sometimes the result is on the thing that matters. At the plate, Braden Bishop, as the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. The 1 0. Hard on the ground towards short, and that's going to find its way into left. Back to back knocks have him going here to start the second. Hey, two runners on after back-to-back -back singles right there. They are in prime position to put the first run on the board. So here now is Ty France as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He'll start play with that average down in the low 230s. Four home runs, 10 RBIs. As a look, now the pitch, and it's fouled away. Haggerty on second, Bishop at first with no outs. Ground ball right side, and that's through into right field for a base hit. The throw to the plate, and not in time as the run scores. Hey, d -Row, they're making this guy pay. That's three straight singles. And a run driven in. Yeah, nothing hit extremely hard. Killing them softly, station to station with those knocks. The batter will be Shed Long Jr. as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. It's not easy to continue pounding the strike zone when you've given up three consecutive hits, but he has to trust that getting the ball down in the zone will get him an out. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. None out. Runners at first and second. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. I'm interested to watch this next pitch right here. He got a swing on a high fastball. I wonder if he's going to pull the old pee sack and climb the ladder. Two and two the count. Out in front of that one may have been looking fastball. Good job just to make contact. Lifted down the line and left. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. 
ball. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. These are the kind of A-Bs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. Playable for Verdugo, and there's one gone. So here's how the Bo Sox are positioning themselves defensively. And let's focus on the guy behind the dish tonight, Christian Vasquez. Lock in on this guy. Some say he looks like a young Pudge Rodriguez in his prime. The bat's coming, but the way he massages this pitching staff, it should be your focus. Mitch Hanniger the next to bat. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. A one pitch on its way. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. The 1 1. Taken, strike two. First and second now, one man out. One two is an off speed pitch. No dice, it's two and two. Chopped to third. Tough to get two. There's one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. That's how you roll it. Five to four to three. A double play sends us to break. More of the show. Saturday baseball after this. Bottom of the inning now. And now it'll be the catcher, Christian Vasquez. For the Red Sox. The catcher, Christian Vasquez. From the stretch. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Another 1 2 delivery. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a one-two count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. He's set. Here's the two-two. A curveball hit right back at him. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Batting six. Okay, here's how the Mariners are going to line up defensively. And diving into the numbers on this team, the one thing that jumps off the page is the fact that these guys can flat play D. The highest fielding percentage in the league. Something to focus on today when you're watching this one. Into the box now, Hunter Renfro. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. The average has been good. 306 to start the day. Seven homers and 16 RBIs. A ball and a strike. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Fouled off. Ready on one and two. Still a ball and two strikes. Even two and two count to Hunter Renfro. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. So it was a swinging strike three. Hunter Renfro goes down for the second out in the bottom half. Bobby Jolbeck.
That'll bring up Bobby Dahlbeck as he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Two out, nobody on. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Breaking ball there is down. Good job of laying off. It's back to two and two. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Full count, 3-2. and two. Got him looking, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Red Sox. They're down 1-0. back now at Fenway Park home of the Red Sox who have certainly treated these fans to some impressive pitching so far this year to start the day they've given up the fewest home runs of any other pitching staff in the league which has certainly led to accumulating one of the best ERAs in the league as well one of their pitchers told me all of our guys have stuff that dances around we don't throw a lot of straight stuff so we make it really tough on hitters to barrel us up especially in today's game limiting the home run ball is a great avenue to success guys Thank you, Heidi. The first baseman, number 12, Evan White. First pitch of the A.B. now. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. No strike. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Not a great spot to be in right here, 2-0, but I'm not so sure why he's pitching this guy so cautiously. A bottom of the order guy you don't normally see getting pitched like this. Pitch is popped up. Dahlbeck is under it. And that's the first out of the inning. And with one gone, time for a check of the standings to see where the Red Sox place in the American League East. Next, here is Taylor Trammell looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Now, here's the pitch. Fouled away. Trammell is a guy that has a lot of speed, no doubt about that. And while that's certainly a weapon for him offensively, it could be argued that it benefits him just as much on the defensive side of the ball given the position he plays. And not only just speed, but first step quickness speed. He's able to track balls down that other guys cannot get to. And sometimes that's half the equation. Got him. Anytime you get rookies just breaking into the big leagues, you have to expect a certain amount of this. There aren't any easy at-bats at this level, and you really have to learn how to slow the game down in your head because everything feels like it's so much faster up here. Into the box, Tom Murphy. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. In there, and it's even at 1. Bases are empty here with two men out. A ball and two strikes to the Mariners catcher. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. And the throw to first will indeed get him. It's a strikeout score at two to three, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Mariners. They lead it one to nothing. So here is Michael Chavis. It's been a really slow start to the season for him, as you can see by the April numbers on your screen. First pitch on its way. Michael Chavis is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Now he chops at a sinker here as this one's top foul off to the right. Here now the 2-2. And another foul ball. A 
another one sent foul. All even at two and two. Here it is. And he looks at a cold strike three as the cut fastball's in there, and that's out number one. Batting nine. Next to hit that's is Marwin Gonzalez Marwin. in his career versus Good this pitcher. Ballad. He's hitting 429. First offering. Line drive to center field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Number two. Designated hitter, Xander. And now in the box, Xander Bogarts. He went down swinging to start the home first. Set. Here it comes. Ground ball to second. This could be two. The second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. One pitch, two outs. A pitcher's best friend to end the inning. More from the show. Saturday baseball following this message and a word from our local stations. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Mariners manager Scott Service during the break about his team's offensive performance so far, and overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Okay, thank you, Heidi. New inning set to get underway, and digging in is the veteran DH, Kyle Seeger. Kyle. And now the first pitch. Ball. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. Seeger will wait on the 1 0. That's now a change up, but it misses just a little below the zone. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to 3 and 0. Hit down the line at first, but this will get fouled 2 and 1. Hey, 2 and 2. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. 3 and 2, a full count to the Mariners designated hitter. Sam Haggerty is on deck. Hit sharply on the ground. Oh, look at Gonzalez. He's out. And what a vital play there, preventing the leadoff man from getting now aboard. Shortstop, Sam Haggerty. Standing in now, Sam Haggerty. As the yep. changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. One for one with a single so far. The wind up and the 0 1. The bouncer to the left side. Gonzalez is there. And that's the second out. Next, it'll be Braden Bishop. First offering on its way. Popped him up. Chavis has a play. And that's the third out. 
Mariners are down in order, but they lead it one to nothing. Alex Verdugo digging in now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. The center fielder. Alex Verdugo. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. And, and a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down oh, the line, but the that wasn't a great pitch no to do here. it on. It's really not JD. the best two-strike approach either. Martinez. Here's J.D. Martinez as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Martinez carries a hitting line just over the 280 plateau. Count now a ball and a strike. It softly down the line toward first. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Now batting, third baseman, Rafael. So the bases are empty here with two gone. And that brings up the third baseman, Rafael Devers. Here's the first pitch to him. And right into the shift. But this is foul for the first strike. Ready with the 0-1. Little tapper down the first baseline. On its way, the 0 2 pitch. Ball. I can't blame him one bit out on the mound. I'm shocked he didn't pick up the rosin bag and see if he could get a foul ball on that one. He had. Cleanly. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Man, this guy's really starting to oh, swing the stick ball. again, D-Roll. That extends his hitting it. streak to Good nine ball. games. Yeah, he's leaking into three ball. series right here now. Nine games, that's getting firm. He's seeing the ball well, and he's making the proper adjustments at the plate. Stepping in now, Christian Vasquez. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Late now, Hunter Renfro, as he gets a good curveball here to start the at bat. It's strike one. Struck out in his first at bat. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 and 2 now. 
Owen oh, two count the pitch can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball a struggling to find a release point of that curveball that wasn't a very good one somehow he's just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward hit sharply on the ground to the left and that's through into left a base hit comes in quickly here now to prevent the runner at third from testing things here. Boy, this is a big inning, Drew. And how about back to back to back singles? The bags are loaded, and he is in deep trouble. Yes, he is, no doubt about it. Nothing fires you up more than knocking the donut off your bat on the on deck circle and realizing all the pillows are taken right now. Major traffic, you got to stay in within yourself, not try and do too much and get a pitch in your zone. At the plate, Bobby Dahlbeck. And he'll right. take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. One of the bigger spots in the ball game so far. Base is juiced now with two away. Hits this one hard the other way. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And not in time as the run scores. And the second runner will pull up stakes over at third. So one run is in and the bases stay loaded with two away. Boy, there are big RBIs and big base hits the row, but none more than with two outs. A big two-out knock right there. Not only ties things up, but keeps the inning going as well. Yeah, just a great approach right there by the batter. You never know when your number's going to be called. You always want to pass the baton to the next guy behind you. Take the donut off your bat and trust in the teammate behind you. That is a huge knock and keeps the line moving. So here's Michael Chavis now. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. 0 for 1 went down looking his first time up. Comes set. The 0 1. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And that's through into center field. Base hit. One run is scored. And the second run will score as well. Hey, even though we're in the middle of this one here, Dilo, that's a big base hit and two RBIs to boot. Yeah, you never know when it's going to come, Dan, but when you see runners in scoring position, you're up to the plate, your eyes light up, and you have to come through for the team. Great at bat. Here's Marlon Gonzalez now. Three across so far in the inning, and another two out there on base. Yeah, Matt, and this inning's really starting to get away from them on the defensive side of the ball. Stranding the rest of those guys out here feels absolutely essential for them at this point. and deals here's the first pitch well I think he's got to find a way out of this jam and limit the damage if he's unable to do that this game could get away from him and a strike to even the count one and one three runs already home here into center field line drive base hit now a long throw home but this won't be in time as he's well safe and the run scores Hey, d -Roy, I think we've got a case right now. This team, they're just feasting on a pitcher that he's given up some runs, and it looks like he's starting to get a little bit tired, leaving some of these pitches up in the zone. Yeah, and I think there's a fight at the bat rack right now. Guys are licking their chops, knowing he's a little bit tired, going to leave stuff over the middle of the plate. Won't be surprised to see the bullpen get going.
lifted in the air toward the line in right. And he chases Hedegaard, but he can't get there as this hops over the wall for a ground rule double. And a bit of a break on defense as only one run is going to score. Really unfortunate there. Obviously, the runner at second base was going to score easily, but it's possible they could have waved the runner around from first as well. We'll never know, though, as he's forced to hold the runner at third because of the ground rule double. And Verdugo goes in front. Two balls and no strikes. He certainly has an open base down there, but you don't want your defender standing flat-footed for much longer. In there, two and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. Left side, but well fouled. Gonzalez on third. Bogarts on a second with two down. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And this is going to be a foul ball. Another 2 2 offering. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this AB hasn't been any good. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. So it's a three run shot to straight away right field. Home run number three here in the early going as this is now a seven run ball game. When this one left the bat I thought it was going to be an easy out to right but it just kept carrying and carrying and the right fielder gave it a great effort and almost brought it back but no dice. Up next for the left side. The left fielder. J.D. Martinez. Here comes the Seattle skipper on his way to the mound and it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. Probably wishes he could have gone a little longer but the moves already been made and he's off to the showers. Sam Delaplane answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from the starter. In now, J.D. Martinez. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Hard ground ball to third. He's got it. And not too shabby out of the pen. Takes just two pitches to get the ground ball, and that ends the inning. But not before they claim the lead here as they bat around and hang an eighth spot on him. We played four full. It's the Red Sox eight and the Mariners one. Now it'll be Ty France. He leads off this half inning in what they hope will be a rebuttal to all those runs they just gave up. Well, Matt, I think mentally they need to get one or two of these runs back right here. Just getting on the board after getting socked in the mouth by an opposing team can lift the team up a bit. We'll see if they can string something together. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Been a while since they've even had a runner on. So I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen. Drop a bunt, get up on the plate, something. That evens it up one and one. He hasn't thrown that pitch much all game. I got to believe as an offense you just got to throw that pitch away and move on to the next one. And he fouls this one off. The one two. It is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. Playing two balls two strikes. Grounded to short right to Gonzalez. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. 
now batting. The Next base. to stand in is Shed Long Jr. Flew out last time up. No fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Hey, this guy's got a chance to be an absolute steal. Being drafted where he was, there are definite signs that he has a chance to make an impact at the big league level. Count even now at one and one. And now a pitch on the way. Ball. Two one. And it's fouled away. Mm. Three and two. After watching that one go by and a ball being called, you could rest assured he knows he's not getting away with another one of those. I guarantee you he's going to be aggressive on this next pitch. One run on three hits and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. Fouled off. Line drive to center field. That's his first base hit making one for two now. Dan are you even concerned about that you've been pitching out of a wind up ball game and now you have to go to the stretch it can be a concern sometimes you but you try to in between starts to make sure that you throw enough pitches out of the stretch and he's been out of the wind up most of the game so we'll see how he reacts here after this base hit he's 0 for 1 thus far 1 and 0 pitch on the way. To one and two now. From the belt, the pitch, and he struck him out. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely lost at the plate, flailing all over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. Evan White is in for the second time here as he looks at a ball high, one and oh. From the stretch. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun. It's one and one. Long is off of first with two away. Two balls and a strike to the Mariners' first baseman. This one is launched. Look at this. Gone over the monster and out onto Lansdowne Street. So a two run homer down the line in left. Home run number three here in the early going. As they cut the gap a bit, it's now an 8 3 ball game. When you're facing an elite starter, you know runs are going to be at a premium. I don't know if this shakes the starter's confidence, but you know what it does? It certainly boosts the confidence of the guys in your lineup. Into the box, Taylor Trammell. As he'll take a changeup here for strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. Sure took a healthy hack that time. Man, hard to understand why a guy who runs so well would take such a big hack like that one. This has popped up. Devers has got it, and that wraps up the inning. Mariners get a couple in the inning on the two-run home run. Middle of the afternoon here at Fenway. It's the Red Sox 8 and the Mariners 3. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. 
Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I talked about the Red Sox offense with the Boston manager, and flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said it was clear his guys were locked into their at-bats from the very first pitch, and that's something they emphasized in the pregame meetings. He's happy they got the message, as now they've gotten into the bullpen, and they put up some solid run production in the early part of this game. All right, thanks, Heidi. Reading off. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Rafael Devers. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Delaplane, just 24 years of age. This is his first year at the big league level. The line drive base hit to left field and this will bang up against the wall the relay and he's going to make it he's in at second base with a leadoff double well he was definitely struggling coming into this one but I think we could say that cold streak is officially over that's his second hit of the game and it goes for extra bases we'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him so now to the plate Christian Vasquez Owen won the count One and one count now to Vasquez. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. A runner at second. Nobody out. On a good pitch there. Had him stretching to get out there. And it's two and two now. Ooh, wait, that was an ugly swing. I'm sure he's not going to watch that one on replay after the game. A bullet to first base. Throw back to the bag, and the runner's back in time. The right fielder. A man at second with one down, and that'll bring up outfielder Hunter Renfro. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And that's cut on and missed, 0 and 1. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Hey, I thought he was going to work around them right here in this situation. But after getting two swinging strikes, there's a change of game plan. I guarantee he's going right after it. Eight runs, 11 hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. One ball and two strikes to count. Takes this the other way to right. That's in there. Base hit. Second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one away. Boy, there's another opposite base hit right there, Dero. It's he's turning up April showers into May followers right now. There's no doubt about it. This guy has gotten off to a hot start, but it's his ability to use the whole field. That's what's made the difference. He's not just pull happy or trying to push everything the other way. He's taking what the pitcher's giving him. Plate now, Bobby Dahlbeck. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0 and 1. He's 1 for 2 in this one. Down and away, ball 1. One and two now. 
With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Pretty good spot to be in as a pitcher right now. You can go for the punch out or try to deuce the ground ball to get a double play. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Now Bobby Dahlbeck becomes the second, the second out in the bottom of the fifth. Standing in now, Michael Chavis, as he'll take strike one on the inside corner. He's working on a one for two game so far. Ball no, one. That's the ball. We're playing 11. One, one. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Ball. Two and one. A hey, time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. All even now, two and two. Runners at the corners, two men out. Two two pitches fouled away. Here's a shot to left field and deep. On to Lansdowne and gone. So a three run blast is straight away left. Home run number three here in the early going as they've widened this lead to eight now. Yeah, he is kicking himself right now. He worked his tail off to get out of that jam and was one strike away from getting there. And then, boom, all that work goes to waste. From zero damage to a three-run homer in the blink of an eye. Now to the plate now, Marwin Gonzalez. Marwin. So take a look at the strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. He's got hits in both of his at-bats so far in this one. low that time maybe outside as well hey this is one of those tough outings as a reliever you just have to keep throwing strikes and believe sooner or later this inning is going to turn around fouled away right side defense aligned perfectly reined in throw to first beats him easily and the side is retired but the Red Sox push across three on the strength of a three-run home run. Through five innings, it's the Red Sox 11 and the Mariners 3. Stepping in once again is Tom Murphy. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And now the first pitch. And he fouls this one off. Strike two and some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right handers up and throwing. Filthy change up that time but he's able to make contact and he'll get another chance. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Gonzalez to his left. He's there. And off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now to the plate. Here is Kyle Seeger. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. And that will hop over the wall now as he'll be awarded second base here. It's a ground rule double. Well, he definitely puts a charge into this one, and the outfielder has zero chance to make a play on it. Next thing you know, the relievers in the pen have another ball to warm up with. Stepping in now, Sam Haggerty. As the fastball is swung on and missed, good location down at the knees for strike one. And it's fouled away. Here comes.
comes the nothing and two pitch. Lays off that time and it's one and two. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. Just hung in there on that one. He'll try again one two. Seeger the runner at second with one away. To two Ball. balls and two strikes now. Two Keep balls, in mind people the longer the at bat the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. Grounded back up the middle. Gonzalez is up with it and the off balance throw beats him at first and that's a tough play. Next for Seattle, Braden Bishop, runner in scoring position with Sujan. Now here's the first offering. And that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. Tough spot to hit here as a hitter. You have a base open, so you have to almost be trying to think like the pitcher. Is he going to try to pitch around me, or is he going to come in and strike some? Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. Off speed pitch oh, yeah. in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat is this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. In there, base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. Boy, he had to be sitting on a fastball, Dero, right there because he pulls this one and gets the barrel to it to drive that runner in from third. Yeah, Dan, you could tell he was sitting all over it. You don't get to a fastball like that without knowing it's coming. Nice piece of hit. Here comes the Red Sox manager up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. He'll work just five and two thirds, but does leave with the lead. Nick Pavetta takes over here with the runner at first and two gone in the inning. In now, Ty France, and he'll watch no. one miss up and away for a ball, one and oh. A hit in two tries for him so far. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. The Red Sox on top. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And striding forward, the designated hitter, Xander Bogarts. The designated hitter, Xander Bogarts. Eric Swanson gets the call to pitch here and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Yeah, that looked like an auto take right there, just trying to measure up this pitcher's stuff. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch stays alive, still 0 and 2. Into the windup, and the pitch. Fouled off. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again.
another 0 2. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. And that's the first out. So with one away, time for a check of the standings in the American League West as you find where the Mariners find themselves entering play today. Striding in for Boston, Alex Verdugo. He went deep to the tune of a three-run job his last time up. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Another 0 2 home. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next Ball, pitch. No. And here's a fastball on 0-2, but it misses 1-2 and two now. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there, really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Two balls and two strikes now. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third, and no swing. It's ball three. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Well no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have their calls go their way on close pitches but not this time. I think that was actually a good take but on two strikes anything that close can go either way. Into the box now J.D. Martinez He's working on a one for three thus far. And he watches a called strike at the knees. No balls and two strikes. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks. And even if you do that, it's a tough pitch Ball. to keep fair. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Fastball just inside. Two out, nobody on. Now a flare out toward right center. Long is there. And that's the third out. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We're through six full. It's the Red Sox 11 and the M's four. Now at the plate, Shed Long Jr. He'll lead it off here as we begin inning number seven. Here it comes. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. That swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. And it's belted high and deep into right center. Racing back the center fielder. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. Solo shot to right center. Home run number three here in the early going. And this lead has been cut to just six now. Well, they're not there yet, but a solo homer to lead off the inning will do wonders for any team's confidence. We'll see if the next few batters can continue the comeback effort here. Just need to string some good at bats together now. Stepping in now is Mitch Hanniger. Yes. He swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. And he lays ball. off for ball one. Base is one empty ball. here with nobody out. And a half swing here, but this is in there for a called strike two. One two swung on and lifted in the air to left center Martinez has a read on it one out now the next 
next batter will be Evan White. Here's the first pitch. Swung on and missed. It's 0 and 1. And it's 1 and 1. Playing 11. 1 1. The 1 1 home. And he fouls this one off. Matt Andrees comes in unexpectedly from the pen in relief of his injured teammate. One out, nobody on. And it's fouled away. Breaking ball misses the corner. Two balls and two strikes. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Throw on to first, two gone. The left field, number 20. So the batting Taylor order turns over now and Trammell. set to go. Taylor Trammell, in his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. Kyle Lewis will come on as a pinch hitter. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Mm, fooled him with that one as he's way out in front. That average, way, way up there to start things out. Seven homers and 16 RBIs. And he misses with it, one and one. He's faced Matt Andrees previously. He's one for two. And he couldn't pull that one back as he clearly Play broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. One two. No. Playing two. Two two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and he launches this one to deep left field. Back goes Martinez and it's off the green monster. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Well, one thing's for certain. That makes the manager look like a genius right there. He calls on him to pinch hit, hoping for any kind of spark, and he gives him a little bit more than that, blasting a double that almost leaves the ballpark. Big innings often start with beginnings like this. Luis Torrens will look to provide a little two-out thunder off the bench as he'll hit with a runner at second and two away. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Outside for a ball. 1-1. One 1-1. And, one. One, one. and he lays off for a ball. 2-1. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive Ball. and throw strikes. Three and one. Three one strike. Fouled off. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Ladies and gentlemen, we join you for the traditional But a solo home run will at least get this closer to respectability. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch. It's the Red Sox 11 and the Mariners 5. Kyle, Kyle Lewis Two. takes over out in left field after entering the game in a pinch hit roll last half inning. Luis Torrens will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. So here's the cleanup hitter, Rafael Devers, for his career in this matchup. He's one for two. The third baseman, Rafael. In the corner and slicing foul. Man, he wants that swing back. He'll be thinking about that all night. He crushed that ball. He just needs to stay back a little longer. Swinging oh, strike, good. and now it's 0 and 2. Oh, this is what you get fired up for right here. Hard fastball against a power hitter. I know he was late right ball. there, but if he comes back, this Play one might ball. not. One ball, two strikes. The 1 2. 
Ball two. Well, that's back-to-back -back off-speed pitches, strikes. and he wasn't biting on either. Now let's see if he goes back to the hard stuff or gives the softer stuff Three another balls. shot. Three and two, the count for Rafael Devers. Now the payoff pitch home. Back up the middle, but that finds its way through for a base hit. Through first and hustling for second. And he is in the second base with a double, his third hit this afternoon. Up next to the left side, the catcher. Into the box, Christian Vasquez, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold, 0 and 2. 1 and 2 to the Red Sox catcher. He was even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. Ball two. two, balls, two strikes. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Now Stepping back. in next, Mike Hunter Renfro Hunter. singled in his last at bat. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield, but he's going to wave them. From the stretch. A ball and no strikes. Well, he punched out the last guy, but he didn't get any favors from the blue on the first pitch in this at bat. Probably should be ahead of this hitter instead of behind. And that's through for a base hit. He'll come home with it. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Now batter. The first base hit. Bobby. At the plate, Bobby Dalbeck. Fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. He's working on a one for three thus far. A ball and a strike. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. You could tell by the hitter's balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there, and I expect him to catch something clean. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bat. Usually these guys turn that 6 4 three double play in their sleep, but it looks like he rushed the feed just a little bit. You have to be sure to get at least one out. Now we'll see if the guy on the mound can pick up the defense. Domingo Tapia comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. At the plate now, Michael Chavis. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Now the one and one pitch. Late on the fastball there as this one skied out toward right. Henniger in a few steps as he takes it. Two down. So the next to bat will be Marwin Gonzalez. So far two for three in this one. Looking to minimize the damage here. In today's game everybody's trying to work off the mound north south. Trying to elevate that heater. He wanted that pitch right there, but I can tell you as an offensive player, I'd rather give you six inches off east-west than to have you call that high fastball. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. one and two is the changeup had him out in front there. And that's going to be high two and two now. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Here's the 2-2. Now 
Now a fastball swung on and missed and that is out number three. Red Sox settle for just the one. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Red Sox lead it 12 to five. Here's the third baseman now Kyle Seager has faced Matt Andres previously two hits in seven tries Kyle Seager. wheels and deals here's the first pitch now a check swing but it's strike one anyway says the home plate umpire as we near the end of this one it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome Dan Dero what are your final thoughts on what we've seen. Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, Dero, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. That's a pretty unique pitch sequence, guys. Usually pitching is all about mixing pitches and location, but he threw that all up the window to get that strikeout. He offered the same pitch three times in a row, so I guess he sort of used that reverse psychology to outthink his opponent. Ready with the 1 0. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Hey, I know he's aware he can't tie the game with one swing of the bat, but maybe he's just trying to excite the boys and get one on the board. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Verdugo is there, two gone. The center field, Next to dig in, Braden Bishop singled home a run in his last time up. First pitch on the way. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. A swing and a ground ball to third. Going to be a tough play for the first with time to spare. And the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Mariners. That's not going to help when the score reads 12 to five. So the lineup flips over and digging in Xander Bogarts. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Hit on the ground to third. Scooped up. Throw on to first in time one away. Now batting. Digging in next Alex Verdugo. And if you remember I'm sure he does he hit a round tripper back in the fourth. First pitch hacking here and that's the first strike. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Good breaking ball there. Laid off for the second strike. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. Boy, he sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at 2 and 2. Fouled away. And he fouls this one off. Lifted the other way out to left center. After it is Lewis. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Now batting. Into the box, J.D. Martinez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. One and one the count. The pitch. That's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. Three and one to Martinez. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And he's not the kind of swing you're looking for. Three and one as it runs to a full count now. Three and two. Now a 
fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly and the inning is over. Red Sox go down one two three as the lead holds at 12 to five. So now into the box is Ty France starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Oh pretty healthy hack that time it's one and one. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. Here's a hard hit ball that will be caught out there at short. Tough break there as the leadoff man's retired to start the ninth. Mm -hmm. Stepping in is Shed Long Jr. Blasted a solo homer last time up. Didn't quite catch the zone there, ball one. Oh, and he had him guessing there, and it's a ball and a strike. Here's the one and one delivery. Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well executed fastball down the way, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that, that's off the end of the bat. That's not hard contact at all, and that's an easy out for the defense. The 2 2 is looked at and the count moves full. And he lost him here on 3 2 as that pitch misses its ball four. So now to the plate, Mitch Hanniger. Mitch Hanniger. First pitch on the way. Ball one. The 1-0. -oh. oh, forget about this one. Bob Bob Bowie. So a two run homer down the line in left first home run of the campaign for him as they try to claw back it's a five run deficit. Well this guy's been unhittable all year but eventually you knew somebody would get to him. That's the first home run he's given up all year but like all good relievers he has to have a short memory and put it behind him. Standing in now, Evan White, as he can't catch up on a fastball to letters, and it's strike one. He's faced Matt Andrees previously. He's hitless in three at bats. Comes set, and the 0 1. Still only one out in the inning. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. One ball, two strikes. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. It's never easy to rebound after serving up a two run shot, but that at bat was a good indication to me that he isn't letting it get to him. He went right after him for the strikeout. And it's fouled away. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Behind 0-2 now. Now what's left of this crowd this afternoon gets to their feet. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses 1-2. and two. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. Last chance for the Mariners. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. And this is a 
strike three call and a bit of a questionable ending there as the ball game is over. And if you're looking for where this game was decided, that's pretty easy. It was the big fourth inning. That was the big turning point, and they made it stand up the rest of the way. 12 to 7, the final score in this ball game. Boston played in an even dozen runs to come out on top today. Eduardo Rodriguez earns the win his second. Marco Gonzalez, the slap with eight earned runs as he takes the loss. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. Thank <laughs> you.